Hey everybody, I am going to be moving from tray seven to tray eight today. I am actually one day behind. Uh, one of the reasons is, is that I learned something new a few days before I was gonna be changing out from tray seven to tray eight because I was watching Sarah's, uh, Sarah's, Candid, Sarah's Candid Co. channel, sorry Sarah, and she said that she had contacted the Candid Co. care reps and that you were not supposed to be moving over. It really wasn't about a, a standard two week journey, but that you were not supposed to be making sure that your teeth went all the way down, that there was no gap in between the tooth and the bottom of the aligner. So I noticed with tray seven that I was actually getting a gap. I had a gap between the bottom of my eye teeth, uh, which are right outside of your big teeth. Um, and I also had a little bit of gap right at my canine. So, which is the pointy tooth. So I did a little bit of research and I realized two things. First thing is that your eye teeth are, they're notoriously stubborn. So they do not, they sometimes will not move for some people, they'll move differently or slower than the other teeth for some people, not everybody. Um, the other thing that I found out was that the recommended usage of Chewy two to three times a day was not just to make sure that the aligners were popped in your mouth or for pain. So I really would only use the Chewies when I would actually put in my trays the first time because I wanted to make sure that they were seated properly. Come to find out, oh, and I didn't use them because I didn't really have any pain. I had but tray five wasn't great, but overall, I really haven't had pain with the aligners. I've just had sensitivity and pressure. So for me, doing the chewies really wasn't, was something that I did outside of just putting in the trays. I watched Sarah's video and realized that I do have gaps, but another way that you can get rid of those gaps and move your teeth quicker was by using chewies, uh, the recommended two to three times per day. Oh my gosh. So I have for the past four days really been chewying and I've noticed on my uh, right eye tooth that it's definitely there's been a lot more movement in the past like, like three days. Um, on my left side, my tooth is not quite going down all the way and it's not meeting the very bottom of the tray, but I'm going to give it a try for tray number eight. Um, and I will be using the Chewies a lot to see if that will move it a little bit more. If I do have not a significant, but like a noticeable gap in between the bottom of my tooth and the aligners at the end of this next, you know, two weeks, then I'll go ahead and contact Candid Co. Uh, but I think that overall, I mean, what is happening is that my teeth are definitely my teeth definitely have moved. Everybody now is telling me I can't believe how straight your teeth look. Like I'll just be in casual conversation with them and I'm thinking, wow, my teeth must have been like way more crooked than I thought that they really were. But um, yeah, it's just it's been going really really well. And also the top trays are just so loose. I mean, I can pop them out. I'm not going to do it now because it's going to be a whole lot of spit and slime, but I can literally pop them out with my tongue. And if I have, I typically will have to like do like a section to keep the top tray in because it's just so loose. It keeps falling out. So I took that as, you know, positive sign of, of that my teeth were moving where they needed to be, but I just still have um, just very small on just this one tooth. I have a little bit of a noticeable gap. I ordered three sets of three more Chewies just because I'm going to be more deliberate about using them now and especially trying to get this tooth to move a little bit more. And I only, I'm down to one Chewy. I don't know. I mean, I think my cat, if I moved all of my furniture, I think the cat has been whacking them. So I found some really great ones and, and no shade to Jess or JES Orthodontics, but these come in a really cool little pack, um, little container, and it has a little clip on it. So you can 
clip them. And these ones that I got, they come in uh, green and they come in yellow and they also have uh, ones that come in white. They're a little bit bigger than the other Chewies. I haven't noticed a difference in comfort. Um, they're almost the exact same level of springiness. So yeah, so I'll link to those. I mean, it's always good to have options, especially if you're like me and you keep losing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out tray number seven. Sorry. So grody. All right, so I have my awesome grandmother-in-law's scissors. So I'll be opening up this one. And cool. I don't know why for some reason this one I feel like I have more room uh, where my tongue is. All right, and I can feel it's definitely tighter right at where my bicuspid should be, right behind my um, canines right there. And now for the top ones. Okay. My bite is a little funky, so I think this one will be moving a little bit more the the back teeth, the ones that you can't see quite as much. All right. So I'm gonna take my glasses off because I can't see close up. So you can see, yeah, there's definitely a gap right there. And a little bit one right there as well. So, it just means that I'll be chewing. These ones don't really hurt, but man, I can tell it's definitely, it's gonna be a little bit more bite work. So, okay. Interesting. Can definitely feel pressure kind of at the back. Hopefully I won't need too much ibuprofen. Hopefully I can get the spaces uh, under my eye teeth taken care of because those definitely you can see. Um, and that's it. So have a wonderful two weeks and I will catch up with you for tray number nine. See you later. Bye.